The supplies from China are very forthcoming and we have an added number of technicians available to assist us with JF-17 maintenance. Any airframes lost will now also be replaced by Chengdu aircraft. We suspect they really want the battle proven stamp on the thunder and as far as we deliver that part, the Chinese will deliver their end of the bargain. Repeated attacks by the Russian Air Force have broken several holes in the main Soviet line that our armor have taken advantage of. We are now poised to take the city of Krasnodar and we expect the first assault to begin today. Taking this city is important for our cause as it is the administrative center for the entire oblast. For this reason, we expect the enemy to launch strikes against our forces and have kept combat air patrols up in the air on a rotational basis to prevent any enemy aircraft from approaching the area. Now it is your turn. Thunder Flight will relieve Bolt Flight over the Krasnodar area, waypoint 3, and establish a bar cap. Any enemy flights approaching our forces are to be engaged. It is not necessary to destroy the enemy planes, merely forcing them to abort the mission is enough. Be aware that friendly Air Force SU-34 fullbacks will be engaging ground targets in Krasnodar city. We suspect recent engagements have depleted the fighter aircraft available at Makeup Air Base. As such, expect your opposition to consist of attack aircraft, Flogger, Frogfoot, Fences, heading for our troops and command areas. Weapons free against identified hostile targets. AWACS will be available to guide you to our targets. Remember that our Air Force also flies the same kind of aircraft as our enemy and that these have the same markings as the Soviet ones. Confirm your target before firing. Right, let's get that coverage in and ready to go. Load it up. Warning. We don't need the master warning for this one. DTC has been locked. Bold flight, you are clear to return to base. Thunder flight will relieve you. Right, we got the data link sorted. Anapa, первый, руление. Copy Anapa traffic, we are taxiing to the runway.
Looks like the mainstay have just departed. And up a traffic, Thunder Flight is departing. Wheels up. Altitude. 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 Yeah, that is the mainstay, all right. Thunder flight, radar contact. Proceed on heading 095 and commence bar cap. Copy, Beer Cub 095. Tally radar contact, flight, you're clear to engage bandits. Whatever they are, they are closing fast. Let's see if we can't switch to air combat mode and get a sniff on them. Master Arm? Looks like the rest of Thunder Flight are going in very hard indeed. Well, I'm gonna let him have this one. Target is in range. Looks like MiG 25s. So I say again, MiG 25 Fox bats. The other funders have opened fire and are now disengaging. We'll see if their missiles have the desired effect upon the target. If they splash them, all well and good. If they don't, we are ready to follow it up. They are re-engaging. Honestly, so do should we, but... I'm, I'm not even sure there are any more targets. Looks like uh, they cleaned the house with the fox bats, at least. Our wingmen did a good job there. Let's have them rejoin the formation. There, I can see them. I got a visual on them. We'll try a bullseye shot then, if nothing else wants to work. Lock, lock, lock. Box rape.
can't believe the first one actually missed. Two, five, one, Fox three. We're too close. Flash. Yeah, confirm it's going down. Let's keep an eye out for his friends. They gotta be around here somewhere. Might as well slow down a bit too. There, I have them. 12 o'clock. Still nothing on the radar, though. There they are. 309. Fox free. Looks like we need a follow-up shot. Fox free! Flight, engage bandits. I think we got the splash. There appears to be more enemies than ahead. Yeah, I can see them. No rest for the wicked, eh? I don't know if this is the same group or we, if we just got lucky with uh, coming up on another group. But that remains to be seen. Either way, we'll switch to Fox 2 for the next one. And increase the speed. We're going to need all the speed we can get. We're closing a little bit more before we're firing on this guy. Fox 2! That got him. Tracking, tracking, tracking. Tracking, tracking, tracking. Tracking, tracking, tracking. I'm not sure if the airplane currently following us is a hostile target bent for revenge or one of our wingmen trying to link up. I'm going to guess it's not a friendly after all. Because whatever he's doing doesn't really conform to 
friendly maneuvering, as it were. Missile, missile. Missile, missile, missile. Copy, missile. We're popping missile, um, countermeasures. Missile. missile. I'm gonna look stupid if that is our wingman now. Let's hit the brakes and see if we can get him closer for a visual idea. Unknown target dead ahead. Most likely that is a hostile target and not whatever we have behind us. I think that that ought to be our wingman behind him firing. Yeah. Well, that was a confusing dogfight, but at least it seems to have gone our way. I'm just going to assume the other aircraft trying to tail me right now is one of my wingmates. I mean, that smoky exhaust really screams thunder, doesn't it? Then again, we have another thunder there as well. I'm just going to climb and return to patrol altitude. And then my wingmen hopefully can sort it out if they so please. Yeah, that is definitely one of our wingmen. Looks like we were running scared over nothing. Well, that is what happens in these kind of air combat scenarios from time to time. We will be returning on to our bar captain. Contacts are dead ahead, should fly most likely flying lower than we are. But also a lot slower. There they are. Same level as us. I have them on visual. We're gonna lock them up. Flight is clear to engage bandits. That's a friendly missile. We don't really have to worry about that one. Good splash too, good splash. I can see the other guy. I'm on him. That's a frogfoot. Priority target frogfoot. Yeah, I'm with him. Copy that. Box two. Splash. All Thunder Flights, you are clear to return to base. I say again, all Thunder Flights, you are clear to return to base. We are running low on fuel and ammunition here, so we need to be relieved immediately. It's 
Set the course back home for Anapa, and we will be good. Flankers from Crims will relieve you now. Return to base. Thank you, Beer Cub. We will return to base. Ah, Anapa traffic. This is Thunder Flight inbound. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Altitude. Altitude. On the ground, pop the shoot. I must admit that I have mixed feelings about the execution of this mission. Now, everything about it went perfectly fine. We took off, we engaged the enemy fighter sweep of MiG-25s, and we also managed to detect them at quite a long range as well. And as you can see, there are multiple troop convoys and troops in general in the region, as well as air defenses and stuff like that. Now, we managed to grab the attention of the MiG-25s quite early on, so the MiG-25s never engaged the SU-34s, which is a really good thing, actually. My wingmen fired one... Uh, sorry, one of the wingmen actually fired two missiles, uh, but they fired about uh, one missile each and neutralized both the Foxbat fighters, leaving us free to continue on the combat air patrol. Now, our next target turned out to be a flight of MiG-27s, and to be honest, we actually engaged them kind of far out. And the difficulty of finding these low-flying targets on the, on the radar should not be overstated. Because we actually had a good approach, but they also had this little twisty topsy turn in here. Meaning we had severe difficulties actually finding them. We were following them, and we couldn't see them. So, uh, they blended in pretty well, especially since I decided to be overly dependent on the radar. So, first SD-10 went away and missed the target. Second SD-10 splashed the target. So that's our first kill, one uh, flogger. And then we continue against the other MiGs. Now I'm going to speed this up a little bit, but another SD-10 was launched and seems to be going towards the countermeasures. So at this low altitude, the SD-10s do seem to be less effective. That said, the second warhead did impact on the target. So here we can see that the MiG-27s did manage to drop bombs on or rather nearby a convoy, but they don't seem to have actually hit the convoy. So we pursued them, and our wingman splashed one of them, and then the wingman splashed another one of them. And all the while, we were doing a lot of evasive maneuvers, because we heard the calls of missile, 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 and we actually thought that this guy who was following us was a bogey. 
Of course, that proved to be false, but the last flogger actually broke to engage. So it's not unreasonable. But then we spotted the, our wingman here scoring the kill, and all is well. Lastly, we almost decided to go home, but then we got the call about incoming enemy aircraft, so we headed for the Su-25 Frogfoots, and we splashed both of those. Uh, one of my wingmen fired an SD-10, and they seemed to be a lot more economical with those things than I were. And then we managed to splash the second one with a Fox 2. And then we got the call that we could return to base. The call turned out to be premature because, as you can see, a couple of fences actually crossed our path. But at that point, I am not actually sure if we had the necessary fuel in order to engage them. Uh, that said, they managed to get some of their bombs away against this command post, but the SA-19 finished the job for us. All in all, a rather uneventful mission that could have gone a lot worse. We didn't take any friendly casualties as far as I know, I think. Yeah, the full back flight actually suffered one casualty it seems, but that was most likely from air-to-ground fire rather than air-to-air fire. And Thunder Flight did not suffer any casualties, and Bolt Flight returned safely. So, all in all, I would have to give this mission pretty high marks.